of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green. Today I have come up with something very, very good for people who are looking for a training opportunity, very specifically a practical training program for you. So it is DBT Biotech Industrial Training Program. So the application is started. So you have time till, uh, to apply till February. So I'll be talking everything in detail. This is a program for 2022 to 2023. I'll be talking about the eligibility and how you can apply for this. Uh, training program everything in detail so let's talk about what is this program all about so this dbt uh, biotech industrial training program so this is very specifically you can work in collaboration with companies so under skill vigyan so who are the people who can apply for this one i'm going to tell you so if you're belonging to b btech msc mtech MBSE, which is Wharton Lee Science, MBA Biotechnology or Bioinformatics graduates, you can apply for this fellowship or we can say training program. Uh, what is the main uh, role for this fellowship is or for this training program is you can complete your education as well as you can start your career in industry field also. And you will get a lot of practical skills and experience working in projects uh, that has collaboration with industry, with the industry experts. So apart from that, I'm going to talk about uh, who are the person who can be applicable to apply for this program is final year students eligible to apply everything in detail. So let's discuss everything. So the eligibility is going to be if you have completed BE or in biotechnology or BTech in biotechnology or MSc in biotechnology or MTech in biotechnology of Master of Veterinary Science or MBA in Biotechnology or Bioinformatics and if you have admitted in DBT PG teaching program in Biotechnology you need to have almost 50 percentage of your mark and you should have completed 2021 to 2022 this year you should be completing your uh, all the courses or 2020 to 2021 if you have completed your masters or your BE or BTEC in these years then you are eligible to apply then the most important question comes for us is the final year candidates eligible to apply yes you are so candidates appearing in the final semester suppose if you are masters then you will be in your fourth semester or if you are in the BE final semester then you can also apply or the final year or also eligible to apply but you have to submit one certificate so I'll be talking that also in detail and people who are eligible to apply for this one you have to go through a computer based test and I'll be talking about the syllabus for the computer test also and you can attempt this test in multiple centers across the country and this is going to be an online mode of application so I'll, I'll be showing you the demo of how you can apply for this and the stipend that they're going to provide you if you have completed or if you have qualified the CBT test and then if you have been called as a trainee in collaboration with industry pro projects, they're going to provide you, DBT is going to provide you rupees 10,000 for one candidate for one month and it is going to continue for six months. It's going to continue for six months. You will be given uh, 10,000 every month and students will also get a minimum stipend of 9,000 per month from the trainer's company. So you'll be getting 10,000 from DBT and minimum of 9,000 you'll be getting it from the company for the duration of the timing like six months you'll be getting so it depends and the most important thing is the application uh, for this training program dbt bitp program has started which is from 16th of january 2023 and you can submit this online application till 7th of february till 5 p.m in the evening and this is the notification which has come so this is the complete notification you can actually see. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can apply for this one. And I'm going to also give you about who are eligible and uh, what are going to be the mode of application. And I'm also going to talk in detail about the examination patterns also. So when you're going to go to this website, you will be finding in Biotechnica's page also. We'll also provide you in the description uh, box. You can just click on to this link. If you're going to click on to this link, you'll be redirected to this page, which is DBT. 
Biotech Industrial Training Program 2022-23. So this is the online application commencement date, which is 16th of January, and you have to complete it by uh, February 7th. And you will get your hall ticket for this computer-based test uh, by 17th of February, and the test will be conducted on 26th of February. And advertisement we have already done. I'm going to show you a certificate for candidate who are applying in the final semester. Suppose if you are in the final semester, you have to submit one certificate. So I'm going to show you that certificate also. So you will be attaching this certificate when you're going to apply. So this is the certificate you are actually seeing. So this is to certify that you are in the final year, which university, which academic year and what is your percentage. This you have to get a signature from the head of the department without this certificate. If you're not going to upload it, then your application will be rejected. Then you will not be called for the CBT test. The next one is online application instruction. I'm going to go to since we talked about the eligibility people who are belonging to uh, BE, BTEC, all these things with 50 percentage of mark and finally a candidate can apply. And what are the documents you'll be requiring? Of course, a scan passport size photograph and your scan signature. And of course, a self-attestation uh, copy of your final year certificate or mark sheet, a complete mark sheet, all your transcripts. And of course, you'll be doing an online payment of rupees 900 uh, for this application process. And this is about the CBT test. The CBT test is going to be an online test and you have to choose the centers. I'll be showing all the centers also. And whichever you choose first, that will be given. And most probably the training will be very close by to the location that you're going to provide. And the syllabus is going to be similar to that of a MSc in general biotechnology, which will be given in the DBT. I'll be showing that also in detail. And this is about the tentative cities for computer based tests. You can look around to this city, whichever city you are comfortable, you can choose those cities. It uh, starts from Agra, Bangalore, uh, Chandigarh, and there are so many cities you can look onto this. And this is the pattern question, pat paper structure. So you have general science, 12 questions, one mark and biotechnology, you have seven to six question again, one mark. So totally seven to six mark general aptitude. You're going to have 12 questions, one mark again. So totally you will be having 100 marks. The time is 100 minutes. So total marks is going to be 100 and total number of questions is going to be 100. And there is no negative mark for this one. So there is no negative mark for any wrong answer and if we have to talk about biotechnology what are the things that will come under industrial biotechnology immunology questions microbiology genetics biochemistry plant biotechnology animal biotechnology cell molecular biology ipr analytical technique bioinformatics and bioprocess engineering or fermentation technology, our DNA technology, biochemistry, agriculture, current technology. So since this do not have any negative mark, then it's very, very good enough that you go for this training. If you've been selected in CBT, then you can directly join for the training also. So now let's talk about how to apply for this one. So if you are going to be a new reg registered candidate, you have to click on to the new user and then you have to go and just continue on to this one. So before going just uh, click on to I have read and understood the terminology and continue to this one then you have to sign up to this form and then we'll continue the same so this is the sign up form for you so first you're going to click on to application is for bio BITP which is biotech industry program and give your title all this thing so I just given and your first name your middle name and your last name and your gender and your nationality and your email address please make sure that you type in your email address because most of your communication your admit cards you will get everything through your email only so make sure it is perfectly fine and your mobile address and then you just type in this capture which is given and then click on to I have studied and understood and then you can send the OTP here and you will get a OTP and type in over there and then submit this form so that it will be submitted so after you have done your sign up process you will be having this application number the most important number and your password is also given and after that you have to click on to login and you can continue the same so there are three steps that you're going to do while doing your application process the first is your personal detail your educational detail you're uploading your photograph and your signature and the document so i'm just going to give you an outline of what you can do so here uh cast whichever you belong to you can just uh, click on to this. Are you a domicile of northeastern state? Suppose if you're belonging to northeast, then you can click S, or else you just click on to no. And then you can select your date of birth. 
and then your permanent address and your corresponding address and then preferred test cities this is most important so whichever cities you are okay with that so you can just click on to that one and then you have to save and continue so this is the second step it's about educational details so you can just click on to postgraduate as i already mentioned whether you are postgraduate or graduate if you have done be then you click on to graduation if you have done msc or mtech then click on to postgraduate for now i'm just selecting postgraduate and then you can select which degree you studied so I'm just selecting bsc and they're going to ask specialization if it's if you're going to select be then also they're going to ask specialization for now i'm just selecting bsc and you just have to type in what subject you studied so i'm just for now uh, typing biotechnology and you have to choose this uh, any kind of university where you have studied so for now i'm just selecting and you just have to type in the name of the department similar cases and then uh, what's the semester is it semester or yearly you're going to calculate so i'm just going to calculate yearly and select the last semester so what is your last semester uh, you have declared so suppose if you're going to cl click on to semester then you will see one two three four five and six if you're going to click on to yearly then you will see first year second year and third year since bsc is three years then it's going to show you so i'm just click on to semester and i'm going to click six semesters are done and the degree is completed and how much percentage you have got you just have to type in and if it's in cgpa then you can type in your cgpa also and you have to type in the year of passing so you can select which year so accordingly you can type in and then project during the year if you have done any project during the year then click on to yes if not then click on to no if yes then you have to type in the title of the project which area you did the project whether it's on immunology or microbiology how many uh, months of duration you have done where you have done the project whether it's a university or institute or research institute and you have to give a detailed description about the project if you have not done any project in your bsc then you can click on to no then the next one is your masters definitely so i'm just clicking on to msc biotechnology and whichever university you have studied you just have to click on to this and your department for now i'm just typing randomly you just type in according to your one and you can select semester semesters are very easy if you want to go in for yearly then you can click on to this so four years i'm um, four semesters and completed if you are someone who are pursuing for now then you have to select your marks of all the semesters for four semesters or years up to which has been declared so if you are in the final year uh, msc second year then you type in how much you have scored till the third sem second semester or your third semester and if you are if you are completed then you click on to this one if not click on to pursuing i confirm that i am in the final year you have to click on to this if not just click on to completed and if you have uh, had any dbt supported teaching program then you click on to yes and if you are clicking on to yes then you have to type in year of passing and project during post graduation if not click on to no that's all then you have to go for training details so preferred area of training which training you want to go for r and d production qc uh, marketing management ipr clinical bioinformatics bioethics regulatory affairs or toxicology for now i am just taking bioinformatics and select which location is very very close by to you so i'm just selecting bangalore so for educational qualification this aggregate mark should be 80 to 100 or 50 to 100 because they are asking for 50 percentage so when you are doing that just make sure you're typing in and type in your year of passing project and finally save and continue to the next the next page is going to be your photograph page where you're going to upload your photograph this is the most important one so the minimum size is 20 kb and the maximum is 60 kb and it should be in the jpg or jpeg for format and it should not be more than uh, six months so you're going to upload and then you're going to continue the same so you just have to choose a file and then upload your photograph and then save and continue so the fourth one is uploading your signature so you just have to choose a file and then upload it after uploading then save and continue and move to the next one this is the most important one i'm going to tell you kindly verify the documents before uploading and once confirmed select the checkbox after selecting the documents and press upload and kindly upload the documents which do not have any of the special characters mentioned you should not save your file in any of these using this uh, special characters and the file should be 70 kb to 200 kb so first let me show you you can upload only in pdf jpg and 
in JPEG. And suppose let's talking about a graduate degree complete certificate. Suppose if you're bachelor's, then you have to upload all your bachelor's degree or your consolidated mark sheet. You have to upload here. And after that, I confirm that the file selected by me is correct. Then you have to go to the upload and then you can upload it. The same goes for the second procedure also, which is postgraduate complete certificate. If you have done, then you can click on to continue and then you can preview your application, whether your personal details are correct, your educational details are correct, whether your documents, your photograph is correct, uh, whether your signature is correct. And if your signature is correct, then have you uploaded the documents perfectly and review the application and then click on to the submit button and it will take you to the application portal where you have to pay your fees and then the application process actually ends. So make sure you are uploading once again properly and review it finally. So this is about the DBT BITP application process which starts from personal details and then previewing and then making your payment. So if you have any questions regarding this one DBT biotech industrial uh, training program you can put it below and the application has started from uh, 16th of January and the closing date is going to be 7th February so please do uh, apply it as quick as possible. So this is all about the DBT Biotech Industrial Training Program application and eligibility in detail. So thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.